Welcome to Trading with Rob, brought to you by WealthBuildersHQ.com. This update is for Tuesday, November 19th, 2024. Hope you're having a great day. Hope it's been a good trading day for you. As we get started, keep in mind that everything we look at is for education. Nothing's meant to be advice or recommendations. If you find something you like, make sure it fits your own personal risk profile and risk tolerance. All right, so we're going to start off. We're actually going to start off looking at some companies uh, from our previous update, uh, and that was FUTU. No, I didn't really say that. F U T U, FUTU, right? And we're looking at the 13th, which was, let me get my crosshair here, right in here, okay? So we were only looking at a bearish setup. We don't care about the 55, the brown moving average. So we broke down below the 93.36, retested and failed. And if we go look at the 13th, on FUTU, which was Wednesday of last week. Let's go look at a five minute chart. There we go. That's smaller. So this is Wednesday right here. We broke down, we retested and we failed. So FUTU worked for us. We got in around 91 and bring it back. So this is the day right here. We got in at 90, uh, 92 and three quarter bearish trade. We got out 91 and a quarter. So not a bad little move. Next was Veev, V-E-E-V, -E -E right? Same scenario. We're looking at this candle right here. We wanted a bullish entry because the, um, I don't know, we're looking for 13th, hold on, right here. So we're looking, wrong day. Looking at 13th, which was right here. We opened up right here. We stretched up to the 237.58 and we failed. So if we go look at 13 on VEV, uh, that is right here. So we pressed, you know what? Let me bring this in. It's just a little bit too tight on that five minute. Let's see, this is 12, 13. Okay. So we got down and we closed right at that fib line. We dropped immediately from there and we take the entry. So the entry came in on VEEV uh, right at 236. We got in this trade. So off that 237 half, we got out at two this day, 236. And we got out at 233 and a half near the end of the day. So life is good, right? If we look at, and the other candidate, whichever one it was, we did not, uh, it didn't trigger. So, uh, 108 on FUTU, 180 on VIV. So we've got 13,761.24 is our total PL. 49 winners, 10 have gone against us, three that have broken even, 62 total trades, 221.96. So right about $222 per trade on average is what we're looking at uh, for our candidates up to this point. So overall, not too shabby. Uh, let's jump in and look at this update for today, which is the S&P 500 is where we will start. So we've got a new fib drawn on the S&P from last week. We'll look, we got a nice bounce today off of this 58.78. I don't know if we're done at this point. Uh, there's a lot of analysts talking about the run up was overdone, you know, too fast, too, too much excitement. And now people are going, oh my goodness, what about the regulations that are gonna come in? What about the tariffs that are gonna come in? Whatever it is, you know, whatever the fears are, and that's what we've seen these couple of days down. This little bounce here brought us, it was still a neutral bias, but overall, Definitely like it better, but I won't really like it until we get above the 59.43 level. So what am I looking at here? Um, on the upside, we've got the eight moving average, 59.17 and 59.43. The downside, 58.74 is our first downside break. All right, three candidates for today. The very first one is ACN. Let's go ahead and start off with looking at the entire FIB on ACN first. Good FIB, good setup. All right, so now... Um, I really only like this one to the downside. I'm not a fan of the upside on it at all because my moving averages are just a little bit too close. 357 and we've got our support at 356. Nah, I don't think so. So we're gonna look for a small move down, a retest and a fail. Remember, it doesn't have to go all the way back up to the 353.36. We're gonna take the entry as it fails off of it. Stop is just on the other side. Well, this is my support at 342.81. My target's gonna be right about 345. Yeah, right about 345 is going to be our target. So it's a singular direction trade, only bearish. Mr. Softy, Microsoft, finished nicely on the day, nicely meaning where it's setting up in comparison to the fib line, 
Uh, my preference here is without a doubt the downside. I don't know if we'll even be able to get an upside. So we're looking at, for the downside, small move up, a fail off of that 416.95. I'm gonna take the trade as it fails off of there. My stop's just on the other side. Uh, if support's at 405, my target's gonna be right about 407. 407, 408, somewhere in that range. To the upside, I'm gonna to have to have a resistance at 420, and we're talking about 417. So no upside trade on this one at all. And then we're back in the saddle again with VEEV, VIV, right? VIV. So what are we looking for? I like the downside trade much and more better. Oh, let me get rid of that crosshair, get that out of our way. So we're gonna start with the red pen, small move down, retest and fail. Supports down here at 206 and jingle. Uh, we're gonna take the trade as it fails off of that 213 half. Stop is just on the other side. Target on this is going to be about 208. 208, 208 and a half, somewhere around there. On the upside, you'll notice this weird blue line out of nowhere. I put that 220.07 line to match up. It's close enough, but to match up with this green box here, which is the 21 moving average. So that is going to be resistance for our upside move. All right, so let me go ahead and change this. All right, so give me a small move up, a retest, and a bounce. Right, resistance is at 220. We're gonna take the trade as it bounces off of the 213 half. My stop's just on the other side. We've got a target here right about 218. It's gonna be my target, right? And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all at our next update. Bye for now.